This is Sonic, and you're watching JD Frank 20. What is up, everybody? First of all, I want to send my condolences uh, for James Earl Jones. You know, this has been a tough 24 hours. I mean, we lost so many iconic voice actors here in 2024. Like, it has not hit this rough since 2022. I'm not kidding you. I mean, we lost, you know, losing Carl Weathers, Akira Toriyama, and now we add James Earl Jones. And next, Emmy uh, Shinohara and Peter Ronade. This is just hitting too hard. And, of course, Rachel Lillis, we lost her uh, not too long ago. I'm, I'm telling you, I mean, this is hitting really hard, you know. And I just want to send my deepest condolences to them, I mean. I understand, you know, 2024, this year, it's just been... You know, it's been unpredictable. I mean, it's been nothing but a tragic year. I'm telling you, I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, I just wanted to show, uh, show my respects. Hope you all understand that. Happy to announce that I'll be entering the console wars with a new competitively priced Egg Station Pro. With plenty of egg cutting features, it's time to join the Egg Station family. For the low price of $698.99, upgraded GPU, garbage pollution unit, AI surveillance reports to Eggman, intensive library of games, chemical plant cooling system, and .2134 faster than the Egg Station 5. This drive not included. Yeah, so again, I just wanted to uh, make a take right there. Like I said, what happened? I mean, in the 1990s, wasn't the whole purpose of gaming... You know, just the quality of games back during the 16-bit era, during the Sega Genesis and the Super Nintendo days. Did people really care about graphics back then, or was it the quality of games you had? Because right now, gaming is not the same. In fact, it's worse now. It's more expensive for all the wrong reasons. Both, the, you know, the quality of games aren't, you know, aren't the same as they used to be, considering the fact that a lot of the content is behind a paywall, aka a season pass or in-app purchases. Yeah, and the last thing I want to report is obviously the Marvel vs. Capcom collection, which will come out this week with the digital edition, while the physical version will come out in a couple more months. But like I said, I mean, if you grew up during the 90s, during the arcade era, if you want to get these games, I recommend it 100%. Please get this collection. Like I said, these games are a huge part of my life. You know, they just bring great memories. It's just the way it is. And the whole purpose of today's video is, you know, it's a flashback back to the 90s. And it's a shame that we're already in 2024. And a huge portion of, you know, of the 90s is gone, you know. I mean, we lost a lot of talented actors here and there. But at least this collection right here, you know, you can at least relive that glory of the 90s. At least for me. I can't vouch for everybody else, you know. But that's all I have to say, you know. Everyone, let me know what y'all think about this. And I gotta go. Peace out.